Maya's diagnosis is arthrogryposis. I think the patient category that she fits into the most is inconsistent ankle. Supination is fairly constant. She also has a limitation of dorsiflexion, which means that she walks in contact with the floor, primarily on the lateral border of her foot. Her heel doesn't make significant contact with the ground when she is barefoot. And in fact, it is the inconsistency of foot contact to ground that makes her appreciate the extra stability of the braces. On the close-ups, you get a better understanding of the rather unique appearance of her foot, the strong forefoot adduction, the prominence of the base of the fifth, and a general sense of the height of the medial arch. Maya has had success in the past using the 3.5 DAFO. The 3.5 DAFO with its wraparound foot control does a nice job of supporting the supinated foot. It also provides good forefoot to hind foot control. It also allows us to pad and contain the features of her foot in this less than fully corrected position. She has outgrown her current braces and this process that we'll watch today is to replace the braces with another set of similar style. Casting Maya is fairly straightforward except for the fact that because her foot is not fully correctable we will not use the cascade foot plates. I've simply casted her without a foot plate and held her foot carefully with my hands. All in all, the casting is a fairly accurate representation of Maya's foot after I have imparted as much manual correction to her foot position as she can comfortably tolerate. Initially, we're looking to see if we get a reasonably good fit, containment, comfort. There's nearly always some initial trimming to establish the final length of the toe shelf and medial containment. It's especially convenient for me with Maya in that we fit her near our orthotic lab and I can use the drum sander to achieve this fitting. In this case, she felt that the heel buildup was a little severe and we took the drum sander and actually reduced the thickness slightly to soften the amount of heel pressure she felt at mid-stance. What we expect to see with Maya, and have seen in the past, is comfortable stability that gives her confidence to walk faster with more success in environments that are less familiar than home. The 3.5 gives a nice flexibility in the sagittal plane and a very high level of frontal plane stability to her foot. It seems to be ideally matched to her needs for stability while at the same time allowing a nice fluid flexibility as she walks. Both Maya and her mother will say that she falls less or stumbles less and is more confident and demonstrates significantly better community ambulation when she has the braces on. All in all, a very successful project.